Yes, good morning, my friends. And we're still on the series, The Blessing Plan. We're at day number 37. So guess what? Three more days remaining after today. We started a 40 days journey. Yes, my friends. And I have a message this morning. But just before I get into the message, just want to remind you what the blessing plan is about. We started from day one. We spoke about Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And guess what we did? We add 29 plus 11, and 29 plus 11 equals 40. But the Lord was saying, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I know things might not be flowing the way you want it to flow in your life at this moment. But guess what? God says there is a plan for you. I want you to type this morning, there's a plan for me. God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. And his plan is for you to be successful. His plan is for you to prosper. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So guess what? God has a plan for you this morning. And I know that God has a word for you. Our theme this morning, all inclusive. I know that God wants to minister to your spirit. But just before I share the word, let's take a break and we'll be back in a moment. If it's your first time tuning in, remember to click subscribe, like this page. Remember to like this video because I know that God will minister to you in a mighty way. Here we go. Hey guys, guess what? It's a stress management month. Join the Diversity Nursing Academy on Wednesday, April 28th at 4 p.m. Regaining connectivity, certainty, and control. Guest speaker, stress solution strategist, APRN and ANPBC, Wendy Garvin Mayo. One CE credit will also be provided. See you there. All righty. Thank you so much for watching so far. Of course, we're back and we're ready to share what God has in store for you this morning. So I started yesterday thinking about what to share. You know, of course, I'm in a different setting. I'm really loving the setting, really loving the experiencing that I'm experiencing here. You know, at the end of the video, I'll sh give you a little tour of this property that I'm currently on. I'm in, where is this? I'm in Negril. I'm all the way in the grill. I'm, I'm way in, you know, another side of the country. You know, of course, I'm from St. Catherine, you know, persons who are not familiar with Jamaica. You know, but if you're familiar with Jamaica, if you're watching me from overseas, maybe it's your first time tuning in. Yes, I'm in the grill. And it's a very exciting experience I'm currently experiencing at this time. But just before I, I share, you know, what the Lord has laid on my heart this morning, I just really want to pray so that God can have his way. Are you ready for, for prayer? Father, I thank you this morning for your word, which is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Lord, minister to your people this morning. Touch that woman, touch that man, and let a blessing be his portion, be their portion in this season. Lord, take full control of this word. In Jesus' name we pray, and we say amen and amen. And while you're coming on, I remember I want you to type this word, God's got a blessing with my name written on it. And I want you to say your name because the minute you start doing things like these, you start prophesying, you start speaking life. The Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. So God wants you to speak life. So I want you to say there's a blessing with my name written on it. So come on, say it this morning. If you can't say it, type it. If you're in, your, if you're in the comfort of your home, Wave your hands, touch your chest, be excited, be convicted. There's a blessing with your name written on it. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Can you feel the difference? Can you feel it? There's a blessing with Roshane's name written on it this morning. There's a blessing with my wife's name written on it. There's a blessing with your name written on it this morning. So we're speaking about 
the topic all inclusive. You know, you know, normally when we hear this term all inclusive, it's associated with a hotel. It's associated with a certain blessing when we hear the word all inclusive. But this morning I want to share from a different standpoint as it relates to the word all inclusive. So whenever you come to a hotel and they say that it's all inclusive, it means that you get a lovely room, you get, you know, certain services which are not accustomed to, you're not accustomed to, say, for example, when you go to, say, a bed and breakfast type of service, you know, persons are coming to you, persons are serving you, you know, it's amazing feeling, you don't have to spread your bed, you don't have to do anything at all, all you do is just to eat, sleep, laugh, and the works, all right? So all-inclusive is like a package. It's a little bit more expensive. You have to pay a little bit more money. So all of you guys would have known about all-inclusive. So that's the physical aspect of all-inclusive, being at a hotel, being at a certain um, place where you experience, it, you experience the fullness. There's no limitation. That's the thing about all-inclusive. There's no limitation. You can eat all you want. You can drink all you want. You can, you know, enjoy the beaches, enjoy the pool. As I said, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you just a little brief tour of what I'm currently experiencing at this time. But the all-inclusive this morning I like to speak about, and we start this morning with the word all. Notice A-L-L, all. Now, the word of God says, in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, it says, all things, all things, all things, all things, all things. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all is righteousness. And it says, all other things will be added unto you. So it's very important if we want to experience the all-inclusive package of the Lord, then the word of God says that we should seek ye first the kingdom of God and we will experience it. We will experience all his benefits. The word of God says, I believe in Psalm 103, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is in me. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In verse 2, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. God has benefits for you. But we go back to Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, where it says, all things work together for good, for good. It's working together for good. So the all-inclusive package of God, it's not that everything that we're going to experience is going to be all good. But guess what? All of these experiencing experiences that we're experiencing, it's working together for our good. I really wanted to touch on a point, but just before I touch on that point, let me say this to you as well. Now, the inclusive aspect so we looked at all, all things work together for good. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all is righteousness. And then the Bible says, all other things will be added unto you. In other words, when we seek God, there will be no limitations. When you seek God and spend time in the presence of God, all other things will be added to you and you and you. All right. All right, so the other thing that we're looking at this morning is the inclusive aspect of the topic. Now, inclusive means that you have to include God in all that you do. And if you do that, your life will be set. Your decision-making, the blessings, where God is leading you, your ministry, your anointing. You know, if you're a person that leads praise and worship, you know, once you include God in your, your preaching, you know, whenever you're sharing the word, it's all about including God. God has to be inclusive in our day-to-day -day life. And this is what it says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all. Notice the word all comes again. All of your heart. The Bible says, out of your heart, we should guard our heart with all vigilance because out of it comes the issues of life. So the word of God says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. And it says, in all, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. In all thy ways, include the Lord and he will direct your path. 
Beautiful, beautiful. So yesterday we had a men's conference and, you know, even though I was here at the hotel, you know, I was very um, faithful to say, you know what, I'm going to be a part of this conference. And just before I went on the conference, the Lord was ministering to me concerning the word man. You know, as men, we ought to be mightily used by God. You're watching me this morning, you're a man. As I said, at the end of this, 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 this video, I'm going to share with you, I'm going, to, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the property. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. And if you're a man, if you're a woman, you need to hear this as well. So the Lord gave me the word man. I started looking at the word man. And I looked at the letter M. And I see the letter M means mightily. 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 So men are to be mightily used by God. I'm sensing God using me mightily to bless somebody this morning. Somebody needs to be healed. Somebody needs to be deliverance, delivered because it's all about God's all-inclusive plan. Though you're experiencing sickness at this time, the plan of God for your life is for you to be healed. Though you're experiencing a turmoil situation, the plan of God is for God to deliver you. The plan of God is for God to bless you in the city, for God to bless you in the field, for God to bless you in your going out, for God to bless you in your coming in. So I looked also at the letter A, and this is, you know, mightily used, mightily anointed. So in the word man, the A speaks of, the M speaks of mightily. And the A speaks of anointed. Now, David says, he anoints my head with oil so that my cup will run over. It also says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Men ought to be in the house of the Lord. So, in other words, the end speaks of nations nations. I'm hoping you're watching me this morning. I wanted to share this video because this video has to touch nations, not just here in Jamaica, but I want this video to reach the, the world at large because guess what? It's all about touching the nations, impacting the nations. I'm really thanking God that men ought to be faithful in this season. And when I'm speaking about men, I'm not just speaking about man in, 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 its, in its, its, woman ought to be empowered as well. Woman ought to be mightily anointed for the nations, mightily anointed for the nations. The woman ought to be mightily anointed for the nations as well. But men in particular, because I was looking at the men's conference, conference. so men ought to be anointed for the nations. The anointing that's on your life is not for you to sit and look cute, but it's for you to be mightily used by God. So part of the uh, all-inclusive package is that we ought to be used by God. We ought to make ourselves available to serve others. It's not just about the physical all-inclusive at a hotel where we depend on people serving us. When you come into the kingdom of God, it's not just about you getting served, but it's about you serving as well, giving your all. You know, I learned this term recently. It's not about selfishness, but it's about selflessness in ministry, in what you do. So we're going to wrap up this morning. Just going to leave a quick prayer with you this morning, and then I give you a brief tour of where I'm at, as I said at the beginning of this program, I'm at Negril. I'm at Negril, and it's a really beautiful property here. I'm going to tell you the name of the property in a short while. All right, so let us pray. Father, I thank you for your blessings. Thank you, God, for blessing your people in the city. Thank you, God, for blessing your people in the field. Thank you, God, for blessing your people in their going out and in their coming in. Father, I thank you, divine God, that there's an all-inclusive package for your children in this season. Thank you, God, that you're making a way this morning, even when there seems to be no way. So let's go. Let's go this morning as I share with you where I'm at. All right. So I'm going to take this camera off here. 
All right, so as you see, as you see in the background there, you see Royalton, Royalton Negril. That's where I'm at, you know. Originally, you know, it's just God's favor, God's divine favor. I thank God that I have, you know, remained faithful. You know, I started this series, and look what God did. My wife and I were celebrating six years. You know, if you, you know, really want to thank those who reached out to us yesterday and wished us, you know, happy anniversary. Thank you so much. Appreciate all your wishes. So as I said, I'm just going to give you a brief tour of the property. You know, as I'm saying, I'm going around. So as you see in the background here, you're seeing a pool in the background. Let me see if I can show you another pool. It's a very nice resort for your family. You can take your children. You can take your family here. You know, I'm giving them a free advertisement. As you see in the background, that that is what you call like a water, you know, something like a water slide for the children. My son, he enjoyed this water slide yesterday. An amazing, an amazing property. You know, and if you carry your children with you, no need to worry. There's a daycare center here. It's really an amazing thing. I remember yesterday, you know, I wanted some time with my wife. So I was able, after my son enjoyed his time at the pool, I was able to take him to the kids club where he went there, he played games, you know, he watched movies, you know, it's just an amazing experience here. You know, I'm a, I'm a Christian. And of course, you guys know that. But sometimes when you're on a vacation, you know, you have to go to the bar. The bar is there. Another thing here we have, see, I don't know what they call it again. There is a stop. There is a tuck shop or a truck stop. You know, we go there, we pick up, you know, food there as well. You know, there's also, um, so this is just on the grounds, you know. I remember yesterday we have a jerk hunt here as well. So as you see in the background, there's also a jerk hunt, you know. Um, and it's Negril people, you know, Negril is really beautiful. If you're watching me from Negril, I really love Negril. I remember the last time I came here was about two years ago. My wife and I, we came around the same time. We went on a road tour. We didn't know where we were going. We didn't plan that we were going to a specific, we actually stayed at a bread and breakfast um, type of setting, but that was good. We experienced the beach, which we really, really enjoy, you know, so just showing you an experience of what, so in the background, it's early in the morning. So as you see, the sea is kind of calm at this time of the morning. So it's really an amazing property. It's really an amazing property. Um, the pool man is currently cleaning the pool. You know, after I finish this video, definitely I'm going to take, I'm going to do myself a swim, you know. Um, if you're watching me uh, and, you, and, and, you know, you're, you don't feel bad, you know, that you're currently at work and so on and you're not able to enjoy you know, but I really needed this time away. You know, I've been really, really, really committing myself to what I do. As you guys know, I work on the radio and I also do a nine to five job. So I really needed this time to kind of relax my mind, you know, get a comfortable sleep, you know, and just clear my mind. You know, it's so peaceful. And this is why I said to tell you people that God is real. And it's all about the all inclusive package. You know, God was able to pay for this trip. I won't even say I was the one who paid for this trip. God paid for this trip. Really want to thank those who reached out. You know, you guys are really amazing. You're really amazing. Thanks for those who reached out. You were a blessing to my wife and I. Yes, the, the Wi-Fi is going down. So if you saw a break a while ago, it means that I'm, you know, straying a little bit from the Wi-Fi because even though I'm recording this video, I'm actually recording it live online. So as soon as I'm finished recording this video, you'll definitely get to see. Really want to thank you so much for the tour. As you see in the background, let me show you a, a, a glimpse of what the... So you see, so you have different buildings here, a lot of buildings, you know, and lots of buildings here in the background. Wow, it's really, this is a really really nice shot you know because the sun is coming out as you see wow so the sun is coming out so it's really looking even clearer now wow amazing 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 i tell you you know the pool pool man is cleaning the pool i know that it's all about royalton here you know gentleman at the, at the big boss you know, I know he loves what he do. You know, I wish I could just work at an all-inclusive hotel 
you know, not as the worker alone, but, you know, but enjoying the benefits. So it's all about being a Christian. It's not easy at times, but there are benefits. There are benefits. There are benefits. After with God, you'll find that peace, you that sense of security. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to your comments. Looking forward for you to be liking this video. And if, remember, if it's your first time watching this video, I want you to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that a video will never miss you. I'm breathing heavily. It means that I've been doing a lot of walking. It means that I need exercise. So remember to subscribe, like this video, like this channel, Russian Douglas, Hope of Glory Ministries. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.